Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about Garden Sprinkler. So, let's look at the example first. Garden Sprinkler Control There is a Garden Sprinkler system with four zones, Zone 1, Zone 2 and Zone 3. Zone 1 should operate for 15 seconds, then Zone 2 should operate for 15 seconds and then zone 3 for 15 seconds and then zone 4 should operate for 15 seconds. The system will operate only if it is not raining and there is no one in the 4 zones. Note the system will work even when there is someone in other zones. So there will be 4 sensors in each zone that, det that detects whether someone is in that particular zone or not. So if someone is uh, present in that particular zone, the garden sprinkler system will not operate in that particular zone. And with that also, the raining, the sensor which detects that whether there is a raining or not, it should not get activated. There, there should be no rainfall during that time. And in that case, the garden sprinkler will operate. If it is raining, it will not operate. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram and use normally open contacts, normally close contacts and ta some timers like TP and T on. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. So firstly, let's go to PLC tags. Then default tag table. Here, we need to add our inputs and outputs. So firstly, the first input will be start button. And then, there will be a sensor that detects the rain. So I will write rain sensor. And then there will be four sensors in each zone. Let me write sensor 1, then 2, 3 and 4. And with that, we have the garden sprinkler system for four zones. Let's say zone one, zone two, and zone three. That represents the pump or any other mechanism that will operate in that zone. So it will be Q0.0. .0. And similarly, there will be zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. After that, we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. Here we will draw the ladder diagram. So I will minimize these options and then zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So this normally open contact will be a start button and then the coil will be zone 1 and that will the, be the pump in zone 1. After that I will use a timer operation as zone 1 should operate for 15 seconds so I will use TP here click on OK and the pulse timer will be 15 seconds and then this zone 1 will not operate if it is raining so here we will use a normally close contact and this normally close contact will be for rain sensor and with that, I will use one more normally close contact and this will be for the sensor, that is sensor 1. And similarly, we can copy this or simply we can uh, add a normally open contact, close two close contacts and then a coil. So this will be start button. 
then this will be rain sensor and then this will be sensor 2 and then this will be zone 2 and then the zone 2 will operate after zone 1 that means there will be an on delay so we will use on delay timer and the preset value will be 15 second 15 second and then this zone 2 should operate for 15 seconds so we'll use tp here so the preset value will be 15 second and then for zone 3 we'll use a normally open contact for start button for rain sensor close contact then another close contact for sensor 3 and a coil for zone 3 so this will be start button then this will be rain sensor and then this will be sensor 3 and then this will be zone 3 so the zone 3 should operate after zone 1 and zone 2 so there will be 15 plus 15 that is 30 seconds delay so we'll use on delay timer here and the preset value so this will be here so the preset value will be 30 second for on delay timer and then we will use one more timer that is tp that will be used to make the zone 3 operate for 30, 15 second so the preset value will be 15 second and similarly for zone 4 we'll use a normally open contact for start button normally closed for rain sensor normally closed for sensor and a coil for zone 3 so this will be for start button and then this will be for rain sensor and then this will be for sensor 3 and then this coil will be for zone 4. So there will be an on delay timer of 45 seconds. We will use T on here. Click on OK and then TP. Click on OK. So this the preset value for T on will be 45 seconds. And then the preset value for TP will be 15 seconds. All the zones will operate for 15, 15 seconds. So this is 15 seconds. 15 seconds. So we will start the simulation. Click on OK. Click on load. And then finish. After that, we will start the CPU. Click on OK. And then I will start simulation. I will start monitoring here and then switch to project view. Here we will create a new project, click on create, So we'll go to simulation tables, then simulation table one. Here 
I will right click and then load project tags. So as you can see here, when I turn on start button, you can see here, the sprinkler system in zone one is operating and it will operate for 15 seconds and after 15 seconds it will stop and the sprinkler in zone two will operate for 15 seconds. As you can see here, the zone two is operating and then zone three is operating and then zone four is operating after 15 seconds zone four is operating if the rain sensor is activated zone four gets off and if there is someone in that zone particular zone sorry if i turn on this zone four sensor the sprinkler system in zone four will stop as you can see here, when I turn on start button, as you can see here, zone one is operating. And if that uh, zone, if there is someone in that particular zone, this the sensor one gets activated, the sprinkler system gets off. And then zone two gets operated. And if uh, there is raining, the rain sensor gets activated. If the rain sensor gets activated, the sprinkler system will stop. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.